Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to blur moving objects in Camtasia. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia and I made this little quick animation thing to show movement and then we're going to blur it. So I'll play it for you right now. It's this star and it's just doing a little jump and then it leaves. So that's just a quick animation, basically just took a shape and added a behavior animation to it, the jump and fall. And I added this background so that you can see the yellow. So let's blur this moving object. Now, I will start off by saying that when you are doing this process, it's gonna take a little bit longer because Camtasia's system of blurring moving objects, it's very manual. So it's going to take some time, especially if you have a lot of crazy movements, just keep that in mind when you're editing. So first thing is we need to grab the blur. So we need to head over to annotations and it's this raindrop right here. You might already be here. You just click on over and you want to make sure to get to blur and highlight. And the blur that I like is just the one that's the raindrop called blur. I don't really like the pixelate, but it's also a type of blur. It's just like more boxy. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to drag it down and you can see that it gives you a rectangle of blur. So you need to shape it to what you want to blur. So I want to blur this star. So I'm going to make it more square like and adjust it accordingly. Maybe just make it a little bit taller. And then I want to put it during the length of the entire star. So you would stretch it out to however long you want to do the blur, however long the clip is. So this clip is like five seconds or something. So that's how long I want the blur to happen. Now you'll see when I place it, the blur is just happening in the middle, but the star swoops in from the top and then it swoops in from the bottom. So I need to make the blur animated. I need to give it movement. So first thing you want to do is head over to animations and make sure you're still clicked on the blur. And then it might be on zoom and pan, but you want to go animations, then the animations tab. So animations, animations, then grab the custom and you want to drag it down. So I'm going to start it from the beginning, drag it down onto the blur. And then I'm going to stretch out this green arrow that just happened. That is the animation. I'm going to stretch it all out to the whole thing. And then so I can track this better, I'm going to zoom in on the timeline, which basically means everything gets stretched out. So I'm zooming in on this five seconds, right? All right, so once we've stretched the arrow, we want to move this all the way back to the beginning. And I'm just gonna start the blur from the top because I know that's where the star is initially coming down from. So now I'm going to move the, the little cursor, this little green thing here, by pressing the period key and it's gonna move it slightly. You could also use your mouse, but I like doing it this way so that I can get it more precise. So I'm continuing to press the period button and now the star is coming into play. It's still blurred, which is good. Now it's not blurred. So now I want to move the blur to cover the star. And what's that, what that does is it's creating an animation and you can see that when I moved it, it chopped up the animation arrow that I had on the blur. So now I'm going to move this cursor again. So I'm gonna click the period button and now it moves again. 
So now I'm going to move the blur again. And then I'm going to again press the period button. So now, okay, it does a little jump. So I'm going to move the blur a little bit up. Basically, I'm, I'm tracking the star with the blur. I'm, I'm following it. So now I'm going to move the blur up to cover that part. And then I'm going to move it again, pressing the period button. So now there's a little bit there. So I'm going to move the blur up and I'm covering it, pressing the period button. Okay, it's going back down. So I want to move the blur. Now I'm going again with the period. I'm moving the blur. I'm just following it. And you can see it's chopping it up here because it's creating that animation. Now it's jumping and it's moving. It's still in the blur position. So I'm good. Now it's doing, it's okay. So now I need to cover it again. And again, pressing the period button. Okay, so now it's peeking out again. It's covered. Okay, pressing, I'm just pressing the period to do it incrementally so that I can do this more precise. I don't want to miss any parts of not blurring the star. So I think the star just stays there. Oh, there you go. It's moving again. It's moving again. A little bit down. So you guys get the gist of this. And you can see how time consuming this can be. This is just five seconds of tracking, blur tracking. So imagine if you have even crazier movements and it's longer. So keep that in mind. Oh, and now there's another one. Okay. Another one. Now I believe it's exiting off of the screen. So that's why I'm, it's continuing to go down. Okay. So now let's play that. I'm going to minimize this and let's now press play. So you can see, I mean, it's not completely perfect. I can make the square bigger so that, you know, the little, little pieces of the star show a little bit for, but for the most part, like 95% of the time, the star is being blurred while it's moving. So I'll play it again. You can see there, right? Moving jump and then it, it goes away. And the, for the most part, the whole time it was blurring. It's not a perfect blur tracking system on Camtasia, but this is what you can do if you need to do blur tracking on your projects with Camtasia. So that is how you blur moving objects in Camtasia. If you guys like these kind of videos, you guys can check out my nine plus hour Camtasia course. You guys can get two months free access to that down in the description below. I have a ton of tutorials just like this. And if you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend it. It's two months free. You guys can pretty much watch the whole thing within the two months and get what you need out of it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.